Hello, welcome to Escaping the Echo Chamber. Happy African History Month. Today is February 1st, 2020, and I'm looking forward to a month where we get to discuss a lot of topics that generally aren't covered during Black History Month, uh, during what the generally accepted curriculum of Black History Month is. And to get into it, that's why I'm doing this. These, that's why I'm doing this. Um, in fact, years ago, I've, I, just, I just realized that the, the scope and the, the subject matter being talked about during Black History Month was just atrocious. And I said, hey, this, 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 something needs to be done about this. And at one point, a group of uh, friends and I, we actually were teaching courses throughout the month of Black History, uh, throughout the month of February, on black history, but we expanded the scope beyond what the traditional, um, and let's use the, the quotation marks, the traditional um, curriculum is. And to start with the title. So a lot of people call it Black History Month, but it's also called African American History Month. The reason why I'm calling it African History Month is because African American History Month, how where does African, where, how, how, how long have African Americans been around? What, 242 years? 400 years? That's it. Like what, what's, what scope of history do, does an African American have? So just a few hundred years and it begins with slavery. That's ridiculous. And that's why I'm not going to allow the topics to be constrained to just uh, you know the United States and the past uh, uh, couple of hundred years because there's more. But if you only have a curriculum that starts with slavery, anything, almost anything by comparison, looks like success. Working at McDonald's, success, victory, you've achieved it. Oh, you've made it. And that's one of the things that the, one of the problems the black community is facing and that we've allowed ourselves to be defined by people who hate us. So the people that brought Africans over to the shores hated Africans, hated black people and viewed us as less than human. Are we going to allow those people to define the scope of our history? That, that's absurd. But it's insidious if we're not paying attention uh, that we that's exactly what we allow to happen. In addition to the, 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 you know, how far back we're going, if you take a look at what's generally discussed during um, Black History Month, things like, uh, oh, on this day in Black History, Michael Jordan scored something, something points. On this day in Black History, Jackie Robinson, um, got accepted to them like the the things that are considered milestones which are actually sports trivia um or other sorts of trivia are not are not where focus should be and could be um because there's so much this a, a much richer wealth of historical figures and and individuals throughout African history that could stand as as role models, as as icons to black youth growing up. Hell, the black adults, black adults. If if, if all we're looking at um, as as symbols of success are sports stars, like really rappers and sports stars. Like, no, there's way more and way better, much better um, figures that we can look to and that can inspire us to do so much more for ourselves, for our families, for our communities. And these are the kinds of individuals I want to discuss. I want to discuss certain incidents and events throughout history that we can learn things from today. So that's why I'm doing this. Um, that's why... I, I call it African History Month because I'm not going to allow it to be constrained just as the past few hundred years to be restrained 
to just the past few hundred years in uh, the United States. And I'm not going to be talking about um, how many points LeBron James scored um, in his, uh, his first game uh, as a professional ball player. No. Uh, there are a lot of figures that we can look to, that we can learn things from, that can inspire us. And I think that's key in really building a stronger black community um, and strengthening the black community. And that's one of the things that um, in the past, my friends and I, we, we were focused on. We actually focused on um, economics. We actually focused on, um, you know, po politics, on things that matter and things that can influence today. Um, not just thinking about history in terms of, you know, just, oh, yeah, that's nice to think about and then just go about your day. Things that can actually have uh, practical applications for us today. And so I'm looking forward to this month, looking forward to co covering a lot of topics. In fact, certain days I will have, I already have uh, really special content um, planned out, for instance, uh, February 11th. Definitely be talking about Nelson Mandela, because for those of you who don't know, February 11th is the day that Mandela was released. So um, there's also the 21st, um, which was the day that Malcolm X was assassinated. So definitely uh, February 21st is Malcolm X Day. Uh, but I'm looking really I'm really looking forward to, you know, just covering so many things this month and talking about things that. Black historical figures, black, black events um, uh, that just can have a really profound effect on us um, moving forward that we can learn so much from, that we can be inspired by, and just things that things that could really make us say, wow, that's, that's something I didn't know, that's something I should know, because I will be the first to tell you there's so much I should know, and there's so much... I intend to continue learning uh, about African history because this isn't stuff that was brought to us. This is stuff that was intentionally um, withheld from uh, black people in part to, to control. Uh, so it's, it's, it's vitally important, I think, to, to embrace African History Month uh, and to embrace African history, a curriculum of African history by doing it this month, I know I've heard the arguments of, oh, no, we should be doing it every day. OK, maybe we should be doing it every day. But let's start this month. Let's start today. All right. Thank you for checking out this episode. Look forward to bringing you a whole lot more content um, about African history month, about African history throughout the month. And uh, thank you for checking out this episode of Escaping the Echo Chamber. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe. I'll see you next episode.